Well, the word God is used to cover so many different points of view. First of all, you can be religious without believing in God. Buddhists are certainly religious without having any any notion of God. Um, secondly, the word God, it's amazing how diverse the definitions are. Let me give two extremes. One is the sort of God that I, I uh, gathered by uh, osmosis during my childhood, which is an outsized white male who sit with a long white beard who sits on a throne in the sky and tallies the fall of every sparrow. Now, that kind of anthropocentric God, there is, as far as I can tell, no compelling evidence for at all, none. At the other extreme, there is... Uh, uh, the kind of God that Einstein and Spinoza talked about, uh, not too different from the sum total of the laws of nature. Now, there are laws of nature, and not only that, they apply everywhere to a quasar 10 billion light years away as, as to uh, the eastern seaboard of the United States. Uh, and it's, it's a very remarkable fact that the same laws do apply so generally. It could have been that a different set of laws applies in every county. So, that kind of God, of course, exists. Who would deny that there are laws of nature? So I, I claim you learn absolutely nothing about someone's belief if you ask them, do you believe in God? And they say yes or no. You have to specify which of the countless kinds of God you have in mind. I don't myself like to use the word in that context because it doesn't illuminate at all. If I say I believe in God or if I say I don't believe in God and, and I say no more, you've learned nothing about about what my belief system is. 